Introducing the horses race number nine this evening's ninth, the third and final division, the fifth leg of the 1996 Ohio Sire Stakes for three-year-old Philly Trotters. Racing one mile, a purse of $15,000 from off the rail is an Ombro Elliott Philly owned by Mark Zinman of Boca Raton, Florida. Frank Law of Spring Hills, Florida. Joe Adamski is the trainer. Coming in with a mark of 201 and 4 at uh, Pompano Park, making only her seventh career start. Joe Adamski driving. She's got an edge. From post two, a daughter of Lockie Almerhurst, still by Dean Davis of Booster. Kurt Sugg is the trainer. With a mark of 201 and 1 in a qualifier here at the side of Downs. Earnings of $45,000. Jeff Fout driving date book. From post three, it's a carry the message filly owned by Daryl Sherman of Elmore, Ohio. Kent Sherman training. Three-year-old mark at Berea, 203 and uh, three-fifths. That her last start. Earnings of $30,000. Don Irvine Jr. driving carry the rose. From post four, a daughter of Arnie's exchange owned by Monic Wolf of Milan, Michigan. Dave Wolf, the trainer, with a three-year-old bust at Raceway Park, two minutes and three. Earnings of $30,000. She comes in from Hazel Park in Detroit. Dave Wolf driving Arnie's message. The five is the daughter of Diadem, owned by Dave and Joyce Heberger of Salem, Ohio. Robert Corey, senior trains. With a mark of two minutes and three at the Meadows, earnings of $47,000. Jay Cross driving just to Cheryl. From post six, a daughter of Shimatar, owned by Wilbur Stolang of Jamestown, Ohio. Frank Todd Jr., the trainer. A mark of 158 and uh, two here at the Cider Downs. Earnings of $53,000. Frank Todd Jr. driving six points. Next is another daughter of Carry the Message, owned by Leroy Amos of Navarre, Ohio. Ed Thomas, the trainer. With a mark at Besiris of 205, earnings of $28,000. Dave Miller driving Salmania. And to complete this field, number eight, daughter of Overcomer, owned by Max Graber of Pemberville and Raymond uh, Creekmore of Toledo. Barbara Lewis is the trainer. Two year old bus at Northfield of 202, earnings of $22,000. She comes in from Salina. Russell Swartz driving Gin Queen. One play show perfecta and a trifecta wagering. Third division, uh, three old Philly Trotters lining up, moving in. They're on the back stretch, and there they go. And uh, they're off, and it's Arnie's message. First for the lead, alongside in second, it's just a Cheryl. From the outside of third, six point, and from the inside fourth is Date Book. Into the first turn, fifth on the inside, to carry the rose on the inside, and sixth, it's Selmania. Racing in seventh is Gin Queen, the early trailer off stride. She's got an edge. Around the first turn, and with the lead, it's Arnie's message on the outside. Just as Cheryl is caught, parked on the outside. At the rail is six point, quarter and 28 and one. As they come to the stretch, with the lead, it's Arnie's message. She's a 15 to one shot, leading here by two, now three. On the inside, just as Cheryl has settled in second with six point directly behind her in third. Date book trots fourth. Another two lengths in fifth, it's Carrie the Rose on the inside and sixth, Salmania. She's followed by Gin Queen and she's got an edge. Completely out of it now is trailing far back in eighth. Here's the half, 56 and four, and Arnie's message is waiting for no one. She extends the lead by six, and now six point will have to come to the outside, and Arnie's message pushed too hard here, and she's off stride. Now six point, the heavily favored, has a lead here. She quickly takes advantage of that miscue, takes a lead by two, and Carry the Rose is also underway to the outside. Just as Cheryl is shuffled back in third, here comes Selmania, and the back of the field is now coming alive as they reach the three quarters. 127 and two around the final turn, and six point has a four length jump here. Inside the second is Carry the Rose, and Jin Queen on the outside within striking distance in third. Last Saturday, a mile ago, and down the stretch they come, and it's six point with Frank Todd Jr. on the roll here. They, they're up by five, six lengths. Gin Queen going a big mile tonight, but it's six point tonight. 
six point in front. Here's the timer, 157 and one. Gin Queen was second with Carry the Rose in third. Well, ladies and gentlemen, track side into the winner's circle stumps the official winner now, the uh, third division fifth leg of Ohio Sires. Her name is Six Point, and she's a three year old daughter of Shimachar from the final score, Mary Uniscore. A homebred owned by Wilbur Stolang of Jamestown, Ohio, trained and driven tonight by Frank Todd Jr. Six Point, waiting and passing off her uh, freshman uh, season. Coming back as a, a three-year-old now, starting rather starting as a three-year-old. Six point has won seven of her twelve career starts, and tonight's mile one fifty-seven and one puts her into some elite company here at Decider Downs. That equals the track record for three-year-old of Philly Trotters, tying up with worldly woman treasure her and the Southern Score. What an effort tonight! from six points and this certainly puts her at the top of the list going into the $100,000 final six points with a career mark now 157 and one to make that trophy presentation the president and director of the Mid-America Racing Association Mrs. Charles Hill the 68 perfecta paying $36.40 3640 Six, eight, and three trifecta, one hundred forty-two dollars and is sixty cents. One forty-two sixty. Congratulations to Wilbur Stolang and trainer driver Frank Sard Jr. and six points. Making it a four-way tie and the track record here at the Saturdowns, one fifty-seven and one.